Hey, in this tutorial, I'm talking about the Django signal. Django signal has a lot of uses like user registration, authentication, login system, and more and more. So, Django provides a set of built-in signals that user could get notified by the Django itself of certain action. So, at first, it is a pre-shape and the post-shape signals. And how to use the signal? You have to connect the signal with receiver and the sender. Okay, so this is the Django project and uh, this is the Django application. So at first go to the settings.py here just install the app. Okay, so now go to the models in the application. Here just create a model. So I just create a model class student. Okay, so just create a model student and inherit from models.model. Okay. Now just create the name models dot character field and the max length is hundred. Okay. Now create the str function and pass the self is e l f. Now return self dot name. Okay. So go to the documentation. Here I just use pre shape and the post shape. Okay. This is Django in build signal. Okay, so just copy this and Django dot db dot models dot signal dot pre shape and the post shape sent before or after the model shape. Okay. So pre or post you already know the meaning what is the pre and what is the post. Pre means before, post means after. Okay. So I just copy it and just type from and paste here from django.db.models.signal. So here import pre save and the post save. Okay. So now create a receiver function. So just create a function de post student save okay so at first pass the sender and now instance and now type the keyword argument means quark okay so here you can type your code i just use the print statement so just type print your post has been saved okay so now go to the documentation here this is the signals and you have to connect receiver and the sender receiver is what receiver is the function and the sender is always model okay so this is my signal post save so just here just type post save dot connect okay now at first pass the argument receiver and then the sender so just pass receiver receiver is this function and the sender is the model what is the model student okay now open the cmd and this is the directory of manage.py remember you have to create an virtual environment so at first you have to make migration and migrate the model so just type python manage.py make migration and now migrate the model okay so this is the directory of manage.py so just type python manage.py and just use the cell okay so now you have to import the models from the app actually import the student model so just type from app dot model import student okay now just create a student name so here just create p equal student dot object dot create okay and create name equal tony okay 
when you using create then it is automatically saved okay so your post has been saved actually this code will run okay here just use the post save signal so now this time at first create the instance okay so just run the cell at first so python manage.py is h u double l cell okay so now at first import the model student so just type from app dot model import student okay so now at first create a instance p2 okay p2 equal student now p2 dot name equal johnny okay so now type p2 dot save okay so you can see this your post has been saved okay this line will execute okay now similarly you can use the pre save signal so just type here pre save dot connect and now pass at first the receiver what is the receiver receiver is post student save okay and now type the sender sender is student okay the student is the sender okay so now exit the cell at first okay so now run the cell again python manage dot py cell so now type from app dot model import student okay so just type sorry this is indentation error so just copy this and paste here okay so now type p3 p3 equal student dot object dot create when you using create the save method automatically run okay so just type name equal moni okay so hit enter so you can see your post has been saved this code will execute two times first times for the pre save and the second times for the post save okay okay so now using the another built in signal post delete so just type post delete at first you have to import the post delete from django.db.models.signals now create a receiver same as before okay so here just name delete student okay post student delete okay just create the function and just change the code here post has been delete okay so now you can use the post delete same as before pre save or post save so just type post delete and post delete dot connect c o n n e c t connect and at first you have to pass the receiver receiver is what post student delete okay so just type the receiver and now type the sender sender is the model obviously so type the model okay so just go to the cmd and at first you have to exit it and again the run python cell okay so just copy this from app dot model import student now just delete the object money okay so grab the object at first so just type p4 student s t u d e n t student dot object dot first actually i want to delete the first object if i r s t first okay so now just type p4 dot d e l e t delete okay so your post has been deleted okay so this code will execute okay in this way you can use the django signals 
now you can use the receiver decorator when the http request is finished then the this code will execute okay so i just copy this go to the views.py and just paste here and just create a function for the index def index function and it will take the request at first r e q u e s t request and just use the http response here so at first import the http response and now type r e t u r in return http response and just type welcome to b learning club okay so i just type it inside h1 tag so just type welcome to b learning club okay so in the tag h1 okay so now go to the urls.py here just create the landing url so p8 is path and just create the landing url and now you have to import the views so just type from app import views okay so now type here views dot index okay so now save it go to views and here it is the index function okay so now this is the receiver and when http request is complete this code will execute okay so just close it and now run the server so just run the local host okay welcome to b learning club sorry here is a spelling mistake okay so when you see the cmd and you can see here request finished okay so this code will execute so just type one request is finished so just save it and now refresh it again so you can see here nothing request finished so you have to off the server at first or restart the server now you refresh this okay so one request is finished in this way you can create a minimum time of login authentications minimum time of sending otps and more and more okay so this is the receiver decorator you can use it in your own project so now you can create your custom signal so at first you have to import the signal and now just type a variable request request your signal okay so equal signal and now just providing arg so just type the parameter providing arg and now i just pass the time okay so now you can use this request your signal this is your custom signal inside the index function okay so just inside the index function just just type request your signal dot send and so at first you have to type the sender sender is your student model so just type sender equal student model so at first you have to import the student model so from dot model import student okay so here just use the student model and now just use the par parameter time time equal one time okay so here i just pass a value one time okay so now save it and run the server okay so just run the server again and now just run the server and refresh it so open the cmd and one request is finished okay so go to the your code and here request your signal and signal dot send okay so now you have to create a receiver also so just copy this and now paste this and this time you can use your custom signal so just copy this request your signal and just pass here instead of request finished request finished is built in django okay 
so here just type custom okay so now save it okay so run the server again and now refresh it and now open cmd so here you can see custom request finished okay so this time this code will execute okay so if you write here keyword argument k w a r g s so again you have to restart the server and now refresh it so you can see the object this is your signal object and this is the time and this is the value one time okay and also remember one thing you cannot use the same function so here just name it my callback one okay so now reload the server and just open your browser and now run the local host okay so open the cmd so you can see here the django signal object and the time and the value okay one request finished and one request is finished so that's it for the tutorial django signals i hope you enjoy this tutorial and don't forget to subscribe the channel okay see you in next tutorial so thank you